My name's Kimberly, I'm 23 um, and I stay in Midlothian. My name's Gavin, I'm 24 year old and I'm from Dumfries and Galway. Hi, I'm Amy. I was 23 when I started the Ping Project. I'm now 25, I'm from Dumfries and Galloway. <coughs> and this is my youngest son, Jacob, who's five. My name's Naomi, I'm 21 and I'm from Falkirk. Hi, I'm Hannah, I'm 21 and I live in Clackmannanshire. Hi, my name's Neve. Um, I'm 21 and I'm from Glasgow. Ping is a group run by Young Scott. It's sort of, um, we, we created a resource for um, young people who are pregnant or who have children and we, we sort of meet up uh, once a month. It's a bit of socialisation but also creating new content for people. So we've been meeting every couple of months um, and just putting some great content together. We've kind of taken it month by month um, on different subjects surrounding young um, parenthood, so um, we've looked at different things, isolation, self-care, um, just all different subjects just so that there's an online resource out there for young parents to access. Over the last year the group have created lots of online resources, we've had a launch, uh, we've had days out and we've had meetings with uh, the Scottish Government just to discuss you know, young parents in Scotland and how the Scottish Government can make life easier and a bit better for young parents. Well the group's been just creating different um, resources um, for the online web page um, and just creating different kind of a advice for young parents. Um, we've also been involved in different events um, such as the Family Nurse Partnership event um, as well as several others, um, just kind of a promoting that resource um, and trying to get that information out there to different young parents. It's important to provide information because some, uh, some people have no one to kind of relate to. They've got no people their own age or older that's in the same situation that's having a newborn child first time. So it's a lot better to get someone else's perspective and kind of relate to what they're dealing with to help them in a way move forward themselves. I think it's really important to give young people experiencing pregnancy or parenthood the correct information because anybody could end up in that situation and there are a lot of young parents in Scotland and there's a lack of understanding I think. A lot of people, even people who aren't parents, should read the resource because you never know it could be somebody you know could fall pregnant or could be a young parent and I think it's useful to just have that information and know how to support them. I think it's really important that the PING resource exists and we can provide information to young people uh, experiencing pregnancy or have children because it can be a really daunting time if you're pregnant no matter what age you are and um, there's not a lot of information out there specifically aimed at young people it's quite a, a touchy controversial topic and it's fantastic that young Scott have created this so if you're 15 or 16 you're scared you can't tell anyone you can go and look at this and have free impartial information advice um, and it can give you a bit of information about what you can do. The best part for me was to meet other parents that had like similar views, although we're completely different, but we all had things in common to talk about, which is something that's just quite easy to lack with people my own age. Well, I think a very good part of it's been when I joined, like I, I was quite isolated. Um, it's hard to kind of, as a young parent, you know, obviously everyone's a lot older than you. And um, sometimes you feel like you don't fit in. So being here with other young parents, um, all going through the same kind of a, like, experiences or hardships or whatever that might bring um, we've all got things in common so it's been really good to make friends um, and I think yeah it's, it's built my confidence and it's built um, my wee girl's confidence as well because she's coming here and playing with other children her age too so it's been really a really good experience yeah. I think we've made like a great little community we've all built really nice friendships so we like meet outside the group and I think just knowing there's other people out there in the same situation, young working parents, some that study, some that are stay-at-home mums, just I think we wouldn't have all came into contact with each other because we all live quite far away from each other so it's just brought like an amazing little group of friends together so it's really nice. My plans now that Ping's coming to an end, I'd like to stay involved in the same sort of thing or in the same group if possible. The same sort of sociability with people involved in young parenting, I'd like to stay a part of that. Hopefully um, we'll all keep, stay together and keep being able to make content and um, 
put stuff out there on social media, um, support each other still as friends and meet up and keep it alive as much as we can. Now that Ping is coming to an end, I think I'd just like to focus on uni, but I'd also like to continue maybe doing some volunteer work. So I've applied to be a breastfeeding volunteer in my local area. So mums that are maybe new to breastfeeding, you would go and support them and maybe like almost like be friends and sort of thing. So hopefully I'll get that and then there might be more with young Scott, you never know. My plans for the future are to continue going to parenting groups and keep an eye out for a similar project just like Ping. Well, I'm due to graduate um, from university in June. Um, so hopefully from there onwards I would like to do something um, to help and support more um, young parents if possible um, because I just know from my own experiences um, that it's, it's really important um, so yeah I, I think I'll just be happy if I can continue um, doing that in any way and we'll see what the future brings. Now that the pen group is coming to an end, so grows my, my time to end at university as well. So I graduate in the summer and uh, I'm going to be qualified as a teacher. So that would be fun, hopefully. <laughs>